going to see the waterfall first day tomorrow we'll start the trekking Libe is taking me to the Mataruni waterfalls and also we'll do coffee tour today from Moshi town it's around 15 km to reach Mataruni waterfalls this travel gives a off-road driving experience we are passing through the Chaga villages so we can see coffee plantation and as well as banana farm because of cloud Matroni waterfalls so we are registering you know we are registering you better then we have to start so <coughs> hello 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 thank you thank you thank you Great. Another profitable business is avocado fruits. This valley is near to the Kilimanjaro. So throughout the year water availability will be there. So because of that most of the areas are farmlands. Coming from water? Kilimanjaro. Wow. It's a long view of the waterfall. Metruni waterfalls. Kilimanjaro is the origin. Like, how are we starting? Throughout the whole year, water will be available. So, we are lying down. So, we are almost near to that. Thousand, uh, I mean, it's like one lakh ten cents shilling, Anna, for the uh, charges. It's really a beautiful waterfall, and it is the second largest waterfall in Tanzania. Back to the waterfall, sir. Sorry, Anna. Adiyori waterfall, Anna. Super waterfall. That's Maushi town. Next our plan is to visit coffee plantation. For that we are going to see Aester. He is a Chaga person and a planner. Three shells, okay. So the fish in the Rubusa only two shells. Yeah. So the fish of Arabica is the, this one looking the red one. So like a piping machine. Aester starts explaining me about the growth stage of coffee and the process and the different types of coffee. Mainly two types of coffees are available. One is Robusta and another one is Arabica. Ah. In India also both Robusta ah, and Arabica okay. are available. Insects because of the insects is like... Insect, yeah. Okay. In Robusta, not this one. After only remove the second shell, we cannot have uh, this, they don't have this uh, thin shell. Okay. But in Arabica, we have this Arabica one, so coffees are so expensive than Robusta. Two. Two. Yes. Uh, these are the hard tree. Okay. So the one who is for pounding to remove the second shell, also the one for. Okay. Like I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> for the first process is removing the coffee shell from the seed. Yes. Tonga. 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 Done? Yeah, we done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> Sorry. 
So now we just wind up to remove the second shell. Yeah. Just going to roll the beans. Okay. So you can see we manage we never break it because ah. it's dry on the sun. Not good that bean. It's good. Good? Yeah, because you need to dry too much. You not dry too much when you're pounding. We just bring all the... It uh, will be broken. Yeah, okay, then yeah. it will not get proper. Yeah, that's why it dry too much on the sun. Okay. Yeah. Side? Yeah. Just only coffee. Yep. Because Next step is to remove ah, okay. the second yeah. shell from the coffee bean. Directly we'll put that. Okay. Yep. Jambo, oh Jambo, Okay, <laughs> Love you guys. Mm. <laughs> I think you have to take one photo. Yeah. Natural and very tasty coffee I ever had. And Esther prepared a delicious local food. Rice, Rice pulao, beef gravy. Banana gravy, spinach and pickle. Nice.